Today we are going to discuss about SAP Human Resource. My name is Argadeep Kar and I have 14 years experience in SAP. SAP HR is one of the most important module that you have to understand. So SAP HR is like you have employees who is working for the company. So in order to get those employees paid, their vacation gets approved or anything related with appraisal or everything, they need to be maintained in SAP HR. Okay. Now with the influx of so many cloud solution, SAP HR's uh, importance was going down. But again, there is a sudden change where the companies wants to stay with SAP and not there are some conservative companies which doesn't like using success factor or workday so they want to stay in SAP uh, and also it's easier because when you have those satellite system you have less satellite system and you can do everything inside SAP it makes it easier because you don't have to create interfaces and all those things and that's that's a smart way so let's discuss sap hr so what is sap hr so sap hr is something that is very important and it's very easy to understand okay once you understand this process lots of process especially related with workflow and other things like even the other modules like finance mm sd those becomes easier okay so imagine there is a company where you have a chairman you have a vice chairman and the, under the vice chairman, they have the quality department, the human resource department, the legal affairs, construction department, financial affairs, and marketing. And imagine this can be anything. This can be in government. This can be a company. This can be anything. This can be your own house. Imagine the chairman is probably your mother <laughs> and uh, the vice chairman is your father. And you are <laughs> probably <laughs> responsible for the quality by doing the chores for everyday stuff hey cleaning the dishes or cleaning the bed or doing something you know taking the dog out and all those things imagine that if you if you imagine th simple things it would be easier and then everyone has their own department and have people working for them so whenever you have this drop down you'll see this person is the lowest person and he reports to this person and then this person reports to this person and accordingly so this is this is what it is and yeah and this is and there can be exceptions and all those things now you might think that here it can be complex as hell you can think of where the legal affair department is in another different country he's he's reporting to a different cost center and other stuff so those are very important stuff that also comes into picture okay so there is the you see the marketing sales and then sometimes you know you you will have different things so eg department will have a separate pay level will have a separate uh, appraisal level okay have a separate uh, bank account they will be wanting in a different bank account okay and they will have different schedules okay they might be working in different country now why different country matters because different country different have different public holidays so accordingly it's a big thing you know like imagine you want to enter uh, uh, enter an employee data for someone in US, social security number is important. If you want to enter uh, uh, employee, num employee ID in Brazil, CPF is required. All those magic things SAP has already delivered, but you have to think about that you have to know about all these things. It's not so crystal clear. You have to go through it. When a person gets paid, why he always gets paid on time? It's nothing, There's there is no, uh, crystal ball that is running there is things that is running in the background the sap hr has been configured that's why you get paid on the right day okay it all does the automation where you split the money you say okay 500 dollars goes to my child's fund for college 500 dollars goes to my wife's account or something uh, or 500 dollars goes to the car payment payment all those things happens without fail how you think it happens it's because SAP HR has been configured properly. Okay, so the next portion is the relationships of the objects. This is very important. So in a this you need to understand. In a company, a position is permanent. A person or an employee, the ID is temporary. 
what I, why I am saying is, suppose you have a position of a manager, okay, and manager is um, is held by this person as Jack holds that position, and now Jack has left the company. When Jack leaves the company, the employee or the personal number also leaves, but the position, the manager position, is still there, and it's being held by another person, by by James or someone. Okay, so that's the way it is. So here you can see this is the position. The position needs to have a cost center allocation. What do you mean by cost center allocation? Because he works for suppose marketing department. So marketing has a cost center. You will have different cost center for different department so that they can split the price on it. Split the they can see because a marketing department probably spends more money um for marketing purpose and an it department doesn't spend more money so they will have different things these have budget control because concern cost center allocation is there then you have an organization unit so a position have an organization in it, and the organization unit can have a cost center allocation so you might say what's the difference there is a difference because a cost center the organization unit can can have one cost center but the position reports to another cost center that cost center reports to another cost center which is the same as the organizational unit okay so there's a hierarchy with it then the position is described by a job you might say what is a job well a marketing position has a job he goes door to door for marketing or he does in internet so that's his job then the position then the job it's if you see it's both ways okay so this so this one is both ways so the organization the this position belongs to this org unit this org unit belongs to this position okay now this job describes the position is described by this now the next portion is then you have a task you might say what is a task the task le is just granular level things okay so a person is the position of his person his job is to do marketing okay the position is marketing and his job is to do marketing now what is his task his task is to talk with customers on on area one he's got his task is also to report to the manager about his sales his task is also to report about about marketing training so these are different tasks okay so now if you see the position also has different tasks so you can it's it's all the way it's many to many or some things now the position is occupied by a holder this is the person if you see this is very important this is the position of a marketing manager and this is held by this the lady okay and he holds this position and he's occupied with this. now a position can be held by multiple person you might say how because through the position you can do time to you can enter time so imagine in a company there is this position of marketing department where this position is being held by three people because they do work on it together they work as 100 percent but they split the split the work 20 percent a 40 percent b and 40 percent is c so you can do all these things so position can be assigned to multiple persons okay a position can have multiple tasks a position can have multiple job a position cannot have a uh, position can have or given it also multiple okay so it can be complex as you can believe okay okay so that's thing now there is another thing there's another look so here you see position and there you have org unit then you have job you have tasks it's another it's another view okay the cost center so these are things that are very important so sap hr is the most important thing um, that you need to understand in sap in order to really configure the system because if you are not working with users you don't log into sap how how so most of the persons employees who logs into sap needs to have a personal number configured so you need to understand that flow and then you have different levels in workflow it's very important because if you don't 
understand hr workflow would be a pain because you will not understand nothing how will you configure and all those things means you will understand but you will be creating extra work for yourself by doing customization which can be done in a standard way so this would be related with the sap agent now there is another group the flow you can see there is an executive port call center this is the human resource and you can see examples by function by geographical region by business process this is the organization unit describes the various business unit that exist in your enterprise multiple organization unit and their inter and a relationship forms the organization structure cost center can so here is the thing most of the company follows the process of pyramid structure like you have the ceo org structure okay and the ceo is the head of the org structure and then under him you have the the office of the cao you have the office of the cfo you have the officer of the cio you have the officer of the cro and all those things so these are this can be different org structure under that each org structure like cio you can have infrastructure you can have enterprise erp you can have other stuffs for ci now for cfo you can have different things for like accounts payable you can have things for for finance fpna &E, uh, for financial uh, processing and other stuff and another process you can put payroll or something like that and so as so on and so forth. now on the plant side you can have plant different plants at different org structure so imagine a company which has 200 plants so each two each plants can be one work structure that reports to the the plant plant org structure main plant org structure and inside the plant you can have a plant manager then the plant manager have a admin he have supervisor he has warehouse person so on and so forth so all these things imagine this needs to fall under a pyramid structure okay that's very important okay uh, so this is this is related to everything on the introduction of sap hr so very important thing you i will just uh, review again is first you have the org unit okay and the relationship between different org unit is the org structure okay so as i say org structure generally will always be a pyramid structure then we discussed about things like we discussed about this positions a so an org structure will have a position okay org structure will have multiple positions so imagine i'll just give an example a ceo okay so imagine up to the ceo org structure will have a position which is the ceo now this org structure will have multiple org structure reporting to him so it will be maintained as many to own work structure coming to the ceo org structure now each org structure in that granular level will have a manager and all those things now the ceo org structure the manager is the ceo of the company so it's always talk it's go bottom up how it works the hierarchy okay so that's very important then we each position will have cost center assignment the org unit will have cost center organ uh, uh, allocation then you have uh, a position will be associated with an org unit and that org unit will be associated with position so most of this is if you see two way traffic okay so these are very important once you understand this process hr should be easy regardless of whether you are this is not related with sap this is related with the human resource process okay if you understand this then even success factor work day sap any hr solution would be easy to understand so this is the if you think this is the thumb rule okay uh, so if if you understand this process hr would be easy to understand it's not difficult you know you can bring your real life scenario where your mom is the ceo of the company your dad is the cao <laughs> you are probably the cio because you take care of the phones and the laptops and whatever you can think of okay so the kids can can be the you know the vp oh i take care of the bed i take care of the garage i take of care of the garden i take care of the trash so you know if you think like that that's the way it is it's a it's not complex but uh, you know if you try to understand but things will become complex when you have a global company 
and where different suppose a person who works in um, in australia moves to us and start working he gets an australian salary as well as he gets australia in, in in us he gets per diem so then it becomes very complex okay it has a good it has to understand with travel and expand and other models so it's very important to understand sap hr so that covers everything on the sap introduction